Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Godzilla is filming right now, and there is a load of destruction. A lot of behind the scenes shows fire, chaos, cars flipped over, everything you want in a kaiju film. What can I say? I, I am super excited for this movie. But then Michael Doherty, director of Godzilla 2, maybe called King of the Monsters, tweeted this picture out. What is that? That can only be the Oxygen Destroyer from Godzilla, the original 1954 Godzilla, where Dr. Serizawa created this device, this bomb that detonated underwater, ultimately killing the first Godzilla, turning him into bones, skin gone. That's a terrible way to go. Monster or not, that sucks. Him tweeting out about this made a lot of people excited, but for me, people like me, kind of a little edgy right now ain't it cool news got to the bottom of this they asked out mike doherty at, if the oxygen destroyer was making a cameo in the new godzilla movie or is this an actual plot device and so mike doherty replied back with firm answer yes this oxygen destroyer is a plot device in godzilla king of the monsters <laughs> No, don't kill him. I just got to know him. Seriously, don't kill off Godzilla. We all know he doesn't die because Godzilla versus King Kong comes out right after. But if this is a plot device they're using maybe at the end of the film to show what humans are trying to make to in order to destroy all monsters, this could be part of that. I don't know. It's definitely a human making it. It ain't so aliens. Dr. Serizawa is still in the movie. He's not exactly the same character from the 1954 version. Maybe he loses an eye in this one. Who knows? He may be wanting to build a human defense mechanism against these giant monsters that have nothing better to do but destroy each other and the city along with it. Whether or not they're heroes in some story or not, humanity has to survive. And I think in this case, the government may be asking either Dr. Serizawa or somebody else. I know there's other scientists figures in here, maybe Vera Farmiga, I don't know, or Kyle Chandler, who knows? There are someone who's going to build this oxygen destroyer and hopefully not use it too soon. I mean, I could totally see this in a plot device in a third installment. Hopefully they don't use it in Godzilla vs. King Kong. Hopefully I am being selfish right now because I am a huge Godzilla fan and I really hate watching him die. I, I cried in Godzilla 1985, okay? I cried in Godzilla vs. Destroya. I know, he's killing people. There's people dying, blowing up. I don't know why. I just really felt sad for him. He's like my anti-hero. He's my hero, and I hope he doesn't die within this universe. Maybe not. Maybe Dr. Serizawa is going to use it against King Ghidorah or some other monsters. Maybe they're going to flip it around and use it for somebody else. But who knows? Oxygen Destroyer is in this Godzilla King of the Monsters film. What do you think about it? Do you think it's going to use a plot device to use against Godzilla or another monster or saving it for later? Anyway, give me your thoughts down below in the comments down below. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.